the cultural influence of Mughal dynasty on Indian costumes, the eventual changes that happened. Indian dress before Babur was just a little more than drapes. One of his Babur Nama notes read that men tied on a thing called langoti, whereas women had a lang, one end of which was tied around the waist and the other end wrapped around the body covered their private portions and was thrown over their head. On the other hand, earlier, the costumes of Turco-Mongols during the reign of Babur and Humayu comprised of multiple layers, namely Jama, Piraha, Kaba, Jalucha, Jiba, and Kasava. This attire was too warm for Indian climate, hence Akbar brought in a few changes and removed the coat layers. The same outfit was worn by Mughal women too. The Hindu women adopted this attire but paired it with ghagras instead of pajama as they didn't want their leg silhouettes to show. Mughal's way of ornamentation For the people of ancient India, clothes mattered little in life, but they were passionately fond of ornaments, whereas Muslim rulers loved both the glamour of garments and glitter of gold. But for them, not an inch of bare skin was available for ornamental exhibition. This disadvantage was compensated by bejeweling dresses and wearing ornaments on them. Hence their bright colored garments were studded with precious stones in huge numbers, such that even the color of the cloth was hidden from view. These dresses of Muslim kings and rulers became a fashion trend back then. The Story of Noor Jahan Noor Jahan, Jahangir's wife, had many merits and accomplishments. She made several innovations in clothing, hence was quite the fashion queen of the era. She is said to have introduced a variety of textiles from her home in Persia. The silver thread brocades and silver thread lace. She even introduced some new silhouettes in dresses for the brides and grooms. All of the Mughal India, Muslims and Hindus copied her styles. The Changes in Motifs Mughal reign was the golden era of block printing. The finest karigars were brought from Persia to introduce new techniques in India. During pre-Mughal time, abstract and geometric motifs were used. Although, when the Mughals came, they rejected all the abstract designs and introduced beautiful, curvier floral motifs. All the aniconic designs that is without idols and images were introduced during the Sultanate period. Evolution of the Jama The Jama is like a long tunic with a fitted bodice and flared skirt from the waist. The Jama went through reinventions so as to be made acceptable for all Indian communities. Towards the end of 16th century, it was made of a diaphanous cloth so transparent as to make the pajamas visible. But it was a garment perfect for summer wear. Hence most Rajasthani men and women wore the same style of dress as was prevalent in Mughal courts. Akbar's New Turban before Akbar, the Mughal's turban was formed by putting a conical cap called kulla on the head and winding a long piece of cloth around it. But as a step towards creating uniformity and harmony in Mughal courts, Akbar reduced the size of the turban and the kulla was detached from it. Therefore, Rajputs felt pride in imitating these new Iranian trends. <laughs>